Think Computers CES 2016 coverage is brought to you by Be Quiet. For the best power supplies, cases, and CPU coolers, visit BeQuiet.com. CES 2016, Derek, I'm at the NZXT suite. We're checking out their new CAM 3.0 software. You might be familiar with the previous versions of CAM. It's a really user-friendly um, temperature monitoring, power level monitoring aggregate piece of software. It also has built-in control for their uh, different coolers and other products. So let's go ahead and take a look at CAM 3.0. Um, basically what they did with CAM 3.0 was they went with, they wanted to go with a much more user-friendly uh, interface. So as you can see, you load it up, you've got your basic CPU, GPU, RAM, hard drive, uh, and then of course they've got a Kraken hooked up, which is an all-in-one cooler, and they've got a uh, Hue light strip hooked up. So that all pops up right on your main page and kind of gives you a quick overview of what's going on with your PC, and you can see things like your temperatures and your loads. Uh, just real quick right on the fly like that. Uh, the, one of the coolest features of CAM 3.0 though is the use of cloud-based um, data pooling. So they, put, they bring in all the data from the connected PCs, uh, which means you actually have to create an account and log in, and then you get this data. So you see they've got an R9 Fury in this rig. Uh, you hover over this uh, information bar and it tells you that there's 779 others with PCs with the same GPU and it tells you their average idle and load, load temps. So say you're new, you've just built this rig and you're not sure, is, am I running too hot? Is this, or do I have a really good GPU? It's running really cool for the temperatures. Just hover over this, see that 26, we're at 29, so we're a little bit warm. Uh, could be changed by a number of factors, but well within the range that it should be. And of course we get the same thing for the CPU over here. Beyond that, um, you've got a build page, which is just like uh, your Windows DX Diag page. It just tells you generally your overview of what it uh, detected within your PC. It, it gives you a little more than that, I got, uh, though it gives you your timings on your RAM and uh, some other things. But just a basic overview. Uh, there's a games tab, which we're going to check out a little bit later. And you've got a Kraken tab, which is, of course, again, that uh, all-in-one cooler. It gives you uh, your controls for your pump LED and some pump speed and fan speed stuff. Yeah. Lastly is the uh, Hue Plus page, or tab, rather. Uh, this is where you go in and you can change the lights and what your lights are doing. So we're going to go in to configure LEDs and start with the presets. They give you uh, eight presets here, which are, it's a pretty comprehensive set but uh, um, you can also go in and do a lot of custom stuff. So you can change the LEDs just to be fixed. You can have them breathing, fading, marquee, having the light chase it around. You can pulse, spectrum waves, just all that, all that cool stuff pre-configured for you right there. Just go in, select it, choose your colors. Uh, but if that's not enough for you, you can go into smart mode, um, which is a temperature monitoring uh, mode. It, uh, you can set uh, the color to change within your case based on whether it's in a good temperature range or maybe you've been gaming for a while your GPU is really starting to overheat but you're in the you know you're in the zone you're in that game and you're not paying that much attention to any graphs or anything well you've got, now you've got your LEDs changing and you're like oh something's wrong I gotta I gotta do something or check something out uh, you can do it with the CPU and even cooler in my opinion is the FPS mode which tells you you know, it'll switch to red and let you know, like, you've dropped in frame rates, something's going on, you need, maybe need to check something out. That's why you lagged. Uh, then here's your custom mode. Uh, custom mode being the ability to select custom colors. It's got a, uh, quite a few less modes because they had a little bit of trouble uh, with the custom colors, getting that to work correctly. But it's, it's possible we might have an update in the future to correct that. There's, and then lastly, one of the coolest things that it's got is the audio mode. And what this means is you can set this. Let's go ahead and bring up, let's just see, grab a YouTube page here. And we've got a song playing in the background here. And if we, we've got this set to sync. So what that means is it's going to, the colors are going to change based on what's going on with the bass and the treble and the song. So we'll go ahead and switch over to the actual PC we've got here. And as you can see, we can't hear it, 
but the lights are flicking on and off with the music to Dr. Dre's the next episode. CES 2016, we're still checking out the CAM 3.0 software with NZXT. Let's, the, uh, one of the biggest features of CAM software is that you don't actually need any NZXT parts. It's one of the biggest misconceptions. So we're taking a look at it running on an MSI gaming laptop here. So obviously, you see this is running. We got CAM software, we are on an extended screen here though. So we're all the way across here. Runs perfectly, gives us all our information we need. No NZXT parts, because what are you gonna put in a laptop? So, let's go ahead and continue to take a look at CAM here. Uh, other than the basic stuff that we looked at before, there's also an advanced tab for users who want maybe just a little more information. So you've got your four CPU uh, threads going here, or cores going here rather. Uh, your status, GPU status, uh, just the usual cycle through, things that we see in other monitoring applications. And then there's also an expanded section, which gives us a lot of the same stuff, a few more uh, specs, if you, or if you will. All right, aside from that, there is a games tab built into CAM 3.0. The games tab is one of the coolest features that I've seen in any monitoring application. This is a real-time, uh, in-game monitoring piece of monitoring software that records it into the cloud outside of the PC. So while you're in-game, it gives you, you know, you're, you're getting 154 frames per second, right? But you're in-game. You're not necessarily paying any attention to that. But when you finish, you're like, well, what happened when I was about to go kill that guy and he was able to spin and kill me? Did I lag? Was it my PC? What's going on? Well, luckily for you, all of your most recent recordings are saved into the cloud and are accessible for you at a later date. We can go back and we can check out any of these previous games and see exactly what happened with our frames. Then you know if you've got a network issue or if it's a PC issue, which is pretty cool. Um, in the games tab you've got, you know, it's, we've got a customized banner up top, we can go into settings, we can change that easily changed, you can mess with your frames per second overlay, which is a big thing. Uh, I especially like to run this when I'm in game so I can see exactly what's going on with my PC, just glancing up into the corner. And we can mess with the notifications. Um, these are little pop-ups exactly like Windows does in the Action Center that tell you if you've got an issue going on with part of your computer. Uh, back into CAM. Um, one of the final things that you can do with CAM is go to this expanded view. This is everything within CAM thrown into one page and if you're like me and you run a dual monitor setup, you're in game, you've got another monitor doing nothing, but maybe you want to see what's going on. So you throw this up on your second monitor and you've got every single spec from your PC displayed in one place ready to go. Finally, that back up. Uh, I just want to go ahead and talk about a soon to come feature which is uh, some cam overclocking. Um, for the longest time users have been wondering about this. Why cam looks like an overclock piece of overclocking software. Why can't I overclock within it? Well NZXT heard your questions and they are in development of a, another tab with a GPU overclocking feature. Um, that is coming out shortly. Think Computers has CES 2016 covered. Be sure to follow Think Computers on social media or check out thinkcomputers.org slash CES 2016.